I'd like to ask you, the reason again that you did not indict Donald Trump is because of OLC opinion stating that you cannot indict a sitting president, correct? Uh, that is correct. The fact that their orders by the president were not carried out, that is not a defense to obstruction of justice because the statute itself is quite broad. It says that as long as you endeavor or attempt to obstruct justice, that would also constitute a crime. I, I'm not going to... I get into that at this juncture. Okay, thank you. And uh, based on uh, the evidence that we have heard today, I believe a reasonable person could conclude that at least three crimes of social justice by the president occurred. We're going to hear about two additional crimes that would be the witness tamperings of Michael Cohen and Paul Manafort. All that, uh, back. The only thing I want to add is that I'm going through the elements with you. Do not mean, or does not mean that I subscribe to. Uh, the, uh, what you're trying to prove through those elements. On your exchange with Mr. Mueller, you asked him you did not indict because of the OLC memo. He said that's correct. Do you think he misheard you? Do you think that's what he believes? That is what he believes. And to establish what we established today in the hearing is that we have a felon sitting in the White House. Donald Trump committed multiple crimes of social injustice. Now, what the American people and other members of Congress do with that, we're going to see in the next few days. But this hearing clearly established that the president ordered Don McGahn to fire him, that the president ordered Don McGahn to then cover that up and create a false paper trail. And then the president ordered Corey Lewandowski to get Jeff Sessions to curtail the investigation. And then we went to great lengths to show how all those acts met every element of the crime of obstruction of justice. That's what we established today. And then we established that he also tampered with two witnesses. Those are all felonies. And we hope the American people see this for what it is. Before we go to questions, I want to add one correction to my testimony this morning. I want to go back to one thing that was said this morning by Mr. Liu, who said, and I quote, you didn't charge the president because of the OLC opinion. That is not the correct way to say it. As we say in the report, and as I said at the opening, we did not reach a determination as to whether the president committed a crime. And with that, Mr. Chairman, uh, I'm ready to answer questions. Riveting stuff, Mr. Liu. He's such a he's such a cool guy. Not a genuine bone in his body, though. If you watch enough, you know who the snakes are: Ted Liu, Adam Schiff, and we'll focus on them because. They're the ones who are actually in positions of power here. Lou is the guy, you know this, Lou is the guy who uh, accused Candace Owens of being a Nazi sympathizer by taking one of her, by literally taking a video clip out of context, which is all they've done today. That's their specialty. So when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German. I think it's pretty apparent that uh, Mr. Liu believes that black people are stupid and will not f uh, pursue the full clip in its entirety. He purposely presented an extract. As I said, he is assuming that black people will not go pursue the full two hour clip and he purposefully extracted, he cut off and you didn't hear the question that was asked of me. He's trying to present as if I was launching a defense of Hitler in Germany when in fact the question that was asked of me was pertaining to whether or not I believed that Hitler was a, whether I, or not I believed in nationalism and that nationalism was bad. And what I responded to was that I do not believe that we should be characterizing Hitler as a nationalist. You don't have to like Candace Owens, but she's not a Nazi sympathizer, okay? And then Adam Schiff is the guy who tried to buy tapes of Trump, Trump nudes and Trump peeing on hookers from Russian pranksters. Is that Russian collusion? It's interesting because they're now they're accusing Trump of when he said that he would look at dirt or consider getting dirt on a political opponent during an election. And now they're just like, oh, that's illegal. That's disobeying America. That's a betrayal. It's very interesting that they just go through the tactic, and they're very good at it, of just blaming their enemy of everything they do. Taking money from bad places. Working with Russia. All this stuff. Pay, paying people for dirt, which is how the whole, the whole thing started. Fusion GPS led to the FBI uh, wiretapping, uh, led to the whole Russia investigation. It's all just a line. If you pay attention to this chronologically, it's, it's a pretty big joke if... 
if you if you know what to look for. It's a pretty big joke that they're keeping this going as long as possible, stretch it out through as many elections as they can. And it's just like any show like Game of Thrones, like Walking Dead, you learn who the liars are, you learn who the bad actors are, and if you pay attention, you can see the story unfolding before it happens. They're not that good at lying. They just rely on you people, everybody at home, forgetting. So all you have to do is just do a little digging. And the people who throw themselves in the forefront front and try to be heroes are actually the biggest rats. The Ted Lewis, the Adam Schiffs, the Joy Reeds. There's so very few people that are trustworthy in the news media, but it becomes very clear if you pay attention to it, pay attention to it in a chronological order. All the answers, just like today, all the answers are pretty much already out there. It's just a matter of deflecting to show what you want to be shown and deflect away from what you don't want to be seen. It's, it's a troublesome time, but if you pay attention and you know the players in the game, it's very easy to tell who's acting in bad faith. And I think most certainly that Ted Lieu and Adam Schiff are ratty scumbags. I'm not even going to play around anymore. Because it, they go up there and it's so fake. And, and people soak it in and there's like, these guys are the ones fighting for America. I don't even know if these are real people agreeing with them. I don't know if these are people paid, paid, uh, paid uh, people on social media to agree with them. Because it's so, if you just watch them, there's no way you can believe it. There's just no way. So they rely on the headlines, they rely on little tidbits of information, and out of context clips, like the ones that I showed you, the first Ted Lou clip, where it's Mueller, he's agreeing, the president only is not in jail because he's the president, and not because we spent two years looking for a crime that didn't exist. 